Hi, I'm really excited to be talking to you in just a few minutes about the regenerative agriculture approach that we take here at the Ramwick Sustainability Hub. I'm Julian Lee and I'm the Sustainability Education Officer here. So, one of the things when you look at in the gardens that we have here is it's kind of wild and people might think, oh, no one's looking after this. But I'm going to give you a little story here that might put new eyes on this for you. Because when you look out there, um, you'll see that the plants are healthy and abundant and we don't use any chemicals, organic or not. Any fertilisers, no pesticides, no herbicides, any of those sorts of things. And the way we do that is we take the regenerative agricultural approach. So if we've got a plant here, typically we think of plants taking from the soil. But the thing is, they also give to the soil. As plants and photosynthesising, they're the only organisms on the planet that can actually take energy from the sun and put it back into the um, biosphere for us. So plants are busy pumping into the soil and feeding the bacteria and the fungi and all the life in there and everything else comes off that. So each plant puts different things into the soil than other things. So our first principle here is diversity. Because the more diversity you have of plants, the more types of things going into the soil. So it's like more nutrition and it's more multivitamins. So it's all going in. Lots and lots of things feeding a soil and feeding the healthy life in there. So we go diversity. And that's one of the reasons why out there in the gardens it looks a bit wild. Because it's not just rows and rows of corn or the one thing. The other thing we do is cover. We try and avoid exposing the soil as much as possible. Because exposed soil means that soil is exposed to the sun, the wind, and that dries it out and it kills all this soil life, which we know is helping to feed the plants. So that also means um, as, as many plants as possible, covering all the space in here. So we've got ground covers in here. We have mid-level plants. We have top-level plants. And then making sure that there's no um, bare bits of earth. What that also stops is the weeds. Because they'll, they'll, their job is to fill up any space. Okay. The other thing we do is we avoid digging the soil up. When you dig up the soil, as we said before, it's like exposed soil. We're actually exposing even more of the soil. But there's another reason why we do it. Is say you, you've got a plant and you dig a hole. And you put all the soil that was in that hole next to it. Now you fill that hole with the plant that you want to put in. And it mostly takes up the hole. Then you put that soil that used to fill the entire empty hole. And all it does is basically just fills the gaps around the plant. Now why is that? It's because that soil used to have structure. And by digging it up you destroy the structure. And that structure... The air holes allows air down into the roots and air for the soil life. And also water. This allows water to get right down deep into the soil and store it in there like a sponge, which makes healthy, well-structured soils less prone to erosion and also have more drought tolerance because the water is stored in the soil. It also allows the worms and all the other animals to travel through less compacted soil. Okay. The other thing we do, given that we don't use fertilisers, is we use compost. So we try and put, we put compost on top, and that compost doesn't fertilise the plants. What it does do, though, is it feeds the soil life. That soil life breaks down over time, feeds the soil life, and gives that soil life a boost, which in turn helps to feed the plants. So you can see it's all connected and going round and round. And what that means then is that we don't use any chemicals, organic or non-organic, in our gardens here. It's abundant, it's wild. It means there's actually a lot. The costs are a lot lower and it's very exciting. So we welcome you to come down here to Permabee on Friday mornings and uh, come and see it for yourself, ask us questions or feel free to 
Google Regenerative Agriculture. See you.